Good morning, everybody, and I'm so sorry that this is a day late, but as you can tell from the title, it's been a kind of a rough week. I um, was in the hospital on Sunday. I just, uh, part of having COPD is because of the medications and, <clears throat> or for me, with my, me having COPD, and if anybody has any of these issues, please let me know, uh, so I don't feel like I'm a lone wolf here. But I ended up uh, becoming diabetic, and I never was before. And um, I had been maintaining it all with my diet for the last year and a half. But for the last month, I've been struggling so hard with my um, sugar levels. It's been crazy, and I, I don't know what's going on. But I ended up in the hospital Sunday, and they had to give me two bags of saline because they said I was dehydrated. Again, I didn't understand that because I'm very aware of with you being with COPD and stuff that you have to have a lot of liquids. Um, and uh, my sugar level was out of control. It's been hitting 381, 400, then it'll drop down to two. I'll be wake up with it, it being at 285. It's just been horrible. So yesterday I got to get into the doctor after the hospital on Sunday. We did an A1C. And it was a 9.5. 9.5. That is just devastatingly high. So I am now on an insulin pin. And I asked the doctor what's what what could be possibly going wrong. Because I drink the water, I watch my diet, I'm losing weight. I lost four more pounds this month. And he said sometimes the disease just takes over. The disease just takes over. I'm not ready for that. I'm, that's not something that I can accept. So I am going to just keep on working. I've got to keep on working. I've got to get to where I can move. I have to financially be where I can move and get out of here to a lower elevation. At a lower elevation, my mobility is better because I'm not so breathless. And from everything I can figure out, when you're a diabetic, exercise is key. COPD is key. I know that I am able to do more at a lower elevation. I actually traveled to Arizona um, here a while back, and that was something, coordinating all the oxygen. But I was able to do more, move more. So there is some truth to that. I'm trying to find the best place to live with COPD that has just been crazy. I mean, I, I just don't know where to go. If anybody's got any ideas, please let me know. I know that I live in an altitude of 5,600 feet. I'm in New Mexico, right below Colorado. And it's just the doctors are saying, this is going to kill you here. You have to get to someplace lower. And now with this new thing with the diabetes going on, I've got to do this, guys. Please share my videos. Share my artwork that's for sale because I am not ready to say, well, the disease is just taking over. I, I, I just can't. I, don't, I will not allow the diabetes just to take over. I'm, I will not. So I'm doing the medication like I need to do. They gave me a bunch more meds that they want me to take. And I hate taking medication because I think it just sometimes it's worse than what's going on with your body and that's true because now I have all these other side issues that I never had before I had COPD I know this is a little bit of a rant today <clears throat> I'm just not willing to give up I am open to any suggestions if you know any place that you know you have heard that people live that's with COPD that helps with their breathing I'm I'm more than willing to do it I hope you enjoy this little light free journal that I did today and I hope you guys have a fantastic week and again I'm sorry that this journal was late. Next week maybe it'll be better and I'll be in better spirits. Right now I'm in fight or flight and I'm fighting. <laughs> bye bye.